is a Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day update. Good morning, everyone. We continue just to track some light rain out there right now. Most of us are staying dry, but still could come across a light rain shower, a sprinkle as we go on throughout the morning. Could also come across some damp roads still just from yesterday. A closer look at where we're seeing this, it's going to be areas like Asheville and off to the northeast more so. It's starting to exit that area where we saw it sticking around earlier on this morning. Cashers now getting it. A light rain shower there towards Franklin and Highlands. Walhalla, super spotty. Light rain towards Westminster, Oakway, and Lake Hartwell down to due west in West Pelzer. The 70s today for the upstate, not until this afternoon. We're going to reach the 70s around 3, 4 o'clock. Breezy for sure, too. Those southwest winds are going to be kicking in, so noticeable today with some severe thunderstorm chances around this time, too. 4 o'clock is going to be one of the main time frames for that. First alert weather day as well in the mountains, the 60s by this afternoon, but still when we get our warmest air, that's when we're going to have the chance for some storms. Overcast skies today. We're going to track this out for you. Getting closer to hour by hour by this afternoon. Spotty rain possible throughout the morning. Anytime we could come across some rain showers. It's going to be this afternoon, though, when we start to see that chance for some storms coming in from the west. Franklin's going to get that first line of it at times around 2, 3, 4 o'clock. 2 o'clock is going to be the earliest, but I think more 4 or 5 o'clock seems to be this time frame. Extending up towards Hendersonville there. Around 4 or 5 o'clock, moving into parts of the upstate from Anderson to Greenville, even Asheville, Hendersonville, and even off to the north and east, east in general of Hendersonville. Around 5, 6 o'clock, so when a lot of people are going to be out coming home from work, traveling to dinner possibly, out going to the games tonight. From Spartanburg to Lawrence, around 6, 7 o'clock, you have that chance of running into a thunderstorm, one that could potentially be strong or severe. Newberry, Greenwood around 7, 8 o'clock, and then we are done with the storms by 9 for sure. A look at the timeline here. It looks like we're going to be on probably the end of this timeline, any sort of region that you see this. So from 1 to 4, the more likely time is going to be 3 to 4 o'clock for Franklin, Tacoa. Anderson, Greenville, 5, 6 o'clock towards Hendersonville and Asheville. Around 7, 8 o'clock for Spartanburg to Lawrence and Newberry. Still holding on to damaging wind being that number one threat. Certainly going to be the highest threat. Winds up to 58 plus miles per hour. Tornado is going to be a few possible quick, brief, but still there, especially areas west of I-26. Heavy rain and hail also possibilities. First alert weather day in place because of that chance for storms as we go on throughout the afternoon and the evening. Then we get high pressure to settle on in. It's going to bring us sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. Sunny to mostly sunny skies, highs in the upper 60s, so beautiful weekend weather to enjoy. Monday still beautiful, back to the 70s, low 70s for that high temperature. Tuesday we could start to see some sprinkles move on in, but it does look like Wednesday and Thursday is where we stay with the scattered shower chances, so higher rain chances then. This is going to be the same case for the mountains too. Highs just dipping down to the upper 50s on Saturday. Otherwise, mainly staying in the mid-60s Sunday, Monday, back to a low 70 on Tuesday before the 60s and 50s do return. A look at